would like to welcome you all here today to celebrate Kate and Luke's special day. My eyes, my eyes, I'm staring at the ceiling For a while, for a while, and my heart's got this feeling My eyes, my eyes, my eyes, it must be more for seeing And I know, and I know, that everybody's dreaming They grow, they grow, like titans or it seems it I know, I know, I must be planted for a reason I remember Kate FaceTiming us on the day that Luke proposed. Elaine and I had never seen her look so glowing and happy. That is till today. You look absolutely stunning. Yeah, I could be a wildflower. Skies, and I could be a wildflower I believe, I believe The rains are coming Wait, I know it seems Like miles and miles away But I believe, I believe That everything's about to change and if you could be my open skies And I could be a wildflower Kate, today you fulfilled a dream for me to walk my daughter down the aisle. Something that I was very proud to do. We hope all your wishes and dreams come true and in the future, you feel the same love and pride as parents as we feel today. You could be my open skies and I could be your wildflower. As I touched on before, you look incredible today. You've truly taken my breath away. Your dress is stunning. You're truly gorgeous. And ever since day one, I have fancied the pants off you. So thank you. We just had a lovely time and I just found myself just just engrossed in your eyes and just and just everything about you. And I just knew from that on there was something there that I wanted to just explore. It took about three dates, obviously being the bag of nerves that I am. I had to wait till the third date for a kiss. Little did I know a few months later she told me if I'd not kissed her that night, I might not be here today. <laughs> so I'd just like to raise a glass to a bit of Dutch courage because it made such a difference. <laughs> and a very warm welcome to Brusom Hall and Tide Barn this afternoon to celebrate the marriage of Luke and Kate. Ladies and gentlemen, could I ask you to stand please to welcome the wedding party.
marriage is a promise, a potential, made in the hearts of two people who love each other. A promise to share one life together and it takes a lifetime to fulfil. So you have now both made the declarations prescribed by law and you've made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses, family and friends here today. Having symbolised your marriage by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, it is now my privilege and very great pleasure to be the first to congratulate you and tell you that you are now legally husband and wife and Luke, you lucky boy, is still traditionally sealed with a kiss. Congratulations. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for Mr. and Mrs. Routledge. You've blown my mind since day one. Forever thankful you've chosen to marry me. You've helped me into the man I am today. You've let me into your life with open arms and you've always included with me your friends and your family. And for that, I'm grateful. I can't wait to see what the next chapter holds for us. And on that note, I'd like you to raise it a glass to my beautiful bride, my wife, and the love of my life, Mrs. Rowledge. Mrs. Rowledge. As any best man would, I do a bit of research of how a best man should uh, deliver his speech. And the first thing that came up is that it should last as long as the groom lasts in bed. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we were in the pub once and he said, uh, I've met this girl and I'm going to go see her. And the next time I saw him, I asked him, oh, how did that date go, by the way? He goes, yeah, it was all right, not too bad. But you could just see him beaming with a smile behind it. Since then, spending the time together with Luke and Kate as a couple, it is plain to see that how much happiness and joy that they bring each other. To Luke and Kate for love and happiness for the future. Oh, oh. When it comes to Kate, no Google search and template does her justice. She's the most kind-hearted, thoughtful, strong, beautiful and caring person I know, who truly puts people first. The other person who really knows this the way I do is Luke. Luke, you are a true gentleman who has truly scrubbed up well today. Kate and her fashionista ways have truly made a difference in the last few years. I remember your bootleg jeans and high ho t-shirts. I gained another friend when you came into Kate's life. And I knew she's in safe hands 
for the rest of her life, as I know you love her as much as I do. Oh, 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 oh.